Hey, what's up guys? Shuckle King here, bringing you week nine for NC Peak, and this week we are facing off against Kurt. Um, pretty much a must win this game since I lost against Mid. I'm currently four and four. And there's a couple teams that's four and four. So if I win both games, I should definitely make playoffs. If I go one and one with high differential, I think I have a decent, okay chance to make playoffs, maybe. Other than that, it's going to be pretty tough. So hopefully we can uh, definitely get this win against Kurt, who's a uh, Currently 2-6, and six, but he's been doing pretty well. I don't think his record uh, necessarily shows how, like, I think he's been doing a lot better than what his record indicates. So before we get in, like, further detail, uh, definitely appreciate everyone's support they've been giving me recently. Um, if you consider giving a subscription, that would be awesome. Uh, and consider liking the video if you like the uh, content I've been putting out. So, yeah, Kurt's team is... Uh, Definitely very cool. I think I have a better chance at it than mid's team, but it's still pretty threatening, especially because I think two of the most threatening things are mods. I just recently traded him. So um, Landorus, definitely really scary. Uh, my ground resist is Bulu, which, again, Landorus has Sludge Bomb that can hit um, Bulu with. So I definitely expect that at least somewhat to come. Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, U-Turn. And then you need either knockoff or Stone Edge, I would imagine, to hit Latios. I mean, U-turn hits Latios well enough. Um, or uh, Stone Edge to hit the uh, Charizard. Because um, otherwise, Charizard could be a, a, an okay answer. Um, what else? Scizor? That's really good. Like, Finny even is like a 3 of KO from Landorus. So it's like pretty tough. And I imagine like Scarf seems pretty pretty okay this game or I like offensive rock polish could also be pretty solid earthquake I basically have to sack something every time um scissor that's really good mod um because it handles the yeah, dorm fine outside of fire punch um that can like low-key win the game if he's um sd bullet punch roost knockoff that does really well against my team I'd have to rely on aegis slash to have revenge kill hopefully um or just have a lot of fire coverage on the team tentacruel I think also it's pretty much 100% coming. Outspeeds the Finny, outspeeds the Bulu. Could take a Bulu hit if it has to. It doesn't really take like banded wood hammers that well, um, but fires off a sludge bomb and hits my team for pretty hard damage. Scald um, could also be a Darm check, at least kinda. So I expect that to come. I expect Blacephalon to come. Uh, my normal type doesn't exist on this team, so, and Pangora is not a great ghost resist, so ghost is kind of free against me. Um, which is unfortunate. Um, Scrafty, I think is pretty likely to come. I think it's a really good Darmanitan answer. If it's like max defensive intimidate, Ice Skull Crash is like a four KO or something. It's kind of ridiculous. So it's kind of hard for me to uh, to uh, try to get a flinch on it or something. So uh, Superpower would do okay damage, but I think Scrafty is going to be his answer to Darmanitan, which will definitely be annoying. I do have a couple fairy types to take advantage of that, uh, but otherwise it's a pretty good mon. Also handles the Latios. At least okay. Um, Raikou, I think, could come. Um, I think those first four are like 100%, and Scrafty is like 95%. Um, Raikou, definitely solid. It adds speed to Latios. Um, and has Shadow Ball, so it could do damage to it. I could see like Calm Mind, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, um, Substitute. I could see that being an okay bring against my team. Um, but I guess he wants Gold to hit the uh, Stun Fisk. Um, Aromatisse, just as a bulky mon that can take on Latios, I think that's a fair bring as well. Gyarados, I think it's unlikely. Um, I think it's kind of hard to pressure to a Dragon Dance, and then Finny kind of reliably sits there. Um, Aegis Class can take a hit pretty reliably unless it gets a lot of attack boosts. So I think that's unlikely. And like a defensive Gyarados doesn't handle Dorm that well. Um, Steelix, I think it's unlikely. It's an okay Dorm answer, kind of okay Latios answer. Um, but I think it pretty much struggles against a lot of mons outside of that. Um, Celebi, I don't think is coming. Um, handles the Finny okay, but other than that, I think it's really taken advantage of. And Bufalon, I don't think it comes. I think you have better Bulu answers than Bufalon. Um, so my approach into this game, I thought Pangoro looks really well against this team. Like, it could have Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch to hit all the quad weak mons. Um, knock off, Drain Punch gunk shot for the aromatis i have to figure out which four of those moves even bolo punch um would be on this set um what else aegis slash i thought it looked really really nice in this game lando kind of nukes it which is a problem but outside of lando i think aegis slash looks really well um and latios i think is pretty good against this team so yeah the first pokemon i'm bringing is um assault vest pangoro i brought this last week 
Um, it makes sense for me to bring again this week. It generally takes like a Blacephalon hit, fine. Like I could take a Specs Fire Blast if I really have to. Um, Celebi, Dazgun Gleam, maybe. Raikou, Volt Switch, or Thunderbolt, sure, it takes it fine. Um, I take a plus two Scizor hit, uh, Bullet Punch, which is nice. And I should have speed to add speed if it's like bulky. I could see Scizor being either Physically bulky to take on Dorm, or especially defensive bulky to take on Latios. Um, I think both of those are pretty valid in this game. Um, Ice Punch to hit the Lando, Fire Punch hit the Scizor, Knock Off. That's probably the move I'm going to hit first, even if I am Scizor against Pangoro. Maybe Bluff, I don't have Fire Punch. Um, knock Off just hits a lot of things pretty well. Gunk Shot to a KO's the Um I don't have Fighting Coverage on this to hit the Scrafty. A little annoying, but I don't think he's going to leave Scrafty in on this anyway. Um, Next, I have Dormanitan. I really wanted Banded in this game, but I felt like I needed something that adds speed like a Scar Flanders. So this is my answer to that. Ice Cold Crash U-Turn, just free moves. Um, Earthquake to deal decent damage to the Tenet Cruel, and I guess the Blacephalon, and Fire Punch to a Nuke the Scizor. Again, nothing for the uh, Scrafty, so maybe I'm a little worried about it, but I have other answers for it. Um, pretty straightforward set there. The speed is to add speed and Landers. Um, Next, I have Aegislash. Choice Specs. This, this claims a kill. If I could get it, it. Uh, like, Steel Beam, outside of Tenet Cruel, there's really nothing that wants to take uh, two Steel Beams, especially if I'm Specs. I could definitely see Scrafty being, like, an initial switch in to this mod. Um, but yeah, Steel Beam kills it. If it's max HP, um, I think it does 100% mana, actually, to Scrafty. So that's definitely great. If it's Special Defensive, well, it's Super Weakened, which... I'll take for the Pangoro plus the Dorm to uh, do a little bit better. Um, Flash Cannon generally is fine to hit. It doesn't hit the Scizor as hard, but it's okay. Shadow Bulb kind of wrecks the Scizor. Shadow Sneak with the attack investment will kill enough Blacephalon that has bulk to be like Scarf and still outspeed uh, Dormanitan. Um, so that's what the attack investment there for. And then a decent amount of speed. I have a lot of speed. I, wanted, I had a little bit of speed just to add speed. Scizor and the rest in the bulk. Um, like the Pangoro just has enough speed to add speed, like little speed Scizor. I want a lot of speed. I really want to make sure that I do add speed to Scizor because if it's Sword Stance, like Bullet Punch, that's going to wreck me. So I just need something that can reliably do a lot of damage and should add speed Scizor's knockoff because um, I do take a plus six Bullet Punch from Scizor. Next, I have Latios, Soldu, Psychic, Draco Meteor, Coal Mine, Roost. This allows me to set up on your room on your aromatis. aromatis does less than 50 percent after a plus one call my boost um and with soul do plus one draco meteor also kills max hp scrafty which is great um uh, and then psychic draco meteor hits this team pretty hard um notable move missing is mystical fire obviously to hit the sizzler um but draco meteor if i get a call mine plus a draco meteor on it i'm doing a lot of damage so i think i'd be pretty okay with that exchange it's just because i think scissor are going to be more physical defensive than special defensive and i think in general scissor has to scout for the uh the mystical fire anyway um so i might be able to get a free call mind on that um unless if i don't see that he's leftovers and he's akaberry or don't see a rocky helmet i think rocky helmet's more likely or leftovers i don't think akaberry's coming but if it is then i can um judge accordingly um, top of Finny, very defensive just to take on Lando. Not too much to think about this set. Um, I had Nature's Madness. I think Knockoff's the best thing to hit. Tenacryl is not going to do much. Um, and I probably just try to double or be aggressive and get in the Latios. It really depends. Um, but Scald, Moonblast hits the team pretty hard otherwise. And Calm Mind is just to beat the room at Tease. Um, because I can't taunt it. It could definitely wish protect on me. If I don't have Calm Mind. So Calm Mind is a way to threaten the Aromatis from like just sitting on the field the whole time. And then I got Flapjacks, the yeah, Stunfisk. Air Balloon, um, very special defensive. Takes on the Raikou really well. Takes a Blacephalon hit and even like ideal little under 50% with Sucker Punch. But definitely decent damage. Um, Scald will hit the Lando and I have Air Balloon to uh, prevent me from at least getting hit initially. Or if he goes for a U-turn to break my uh, my Air Balloon, he might get static. Um, and then I 2 a KO uh, a Steelix. I think I 2 a KO Steelix for Earth Power if it's max special defensive. I'm not sure about Scald. Um, probably not, but the chance to get a burn is also not that bad. And I think Stunfist is about always going to be my lead. Uh, no electric coverage to hit the Gyarados, but I don't think it's really coming, and I have enough to handle it. Um, so yeah, it's my team. Let's get right into the game. Okay, so we're into this game against Kurt. Does not bring... What did I think he was going to bring? Um, 
I thought the top, uh, Lander, Scizor, Tentacrobos, F1, or Must Springs. I thought Scrafty Red Crew pretty decent. I didn't think Celebi was coming at all. So definitely surprised about that. Um, Pangoro also kind of seems free as a lead and just click knockoff. Um, Stunfist is there for rocks and it's also a decent special defensive answer for uh, Blacephalon. Um, Scarf Darm with U-Turn also seems free just to see what the initial switching is. And I do have coverage for everything, but I don't think I'd make a prediction this early. Knockoff seems super free, especially because I have uh, this Landorus kill, Pangoro, Landorus, um, level 50 super power has a chance to kill if he's banded. So that's kind of unfortunate. I probably wouldn't lead with that, or not if he's banded, if he just regular max attack. It's a 50-50 roll to kill. I 100% kill with Ice Punch. Um, that honestly might be worth a trade, but then I don't necessarily know if he's banded or Scarf um, from that damage. Um, though he probably wouldn't risk banded Lando turn one if I'm Scarf. Oh, that's a... Uh, All right. If Pangora's a lead, that's fine. I was just talking through about it too much and actually clicked my mind. That doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's Dorm's gonna lead or if Lando's, or uh, Dorm or Pangoro leads, um, but both are honestly pretty good. So we'll just see what fate decides. Um, Flick, Scizor lead. Um, so hopefully it's Pangora lead. It is Pangora lead, that's great. Um, Knockoff is super free here. Um, maybe expecting my uh, Dorm lead. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was trying to lead with Dorm, but um, let's see what happens. He's got to scout out the uh, the fire punch here, especially if I'm like Scarf Pangoro. So Tentacruel seems like a really safe play, um, and hopefully I can get rid of a no uh, Rocky Helmet. I'm just assuming Tentacruel comes out here. Bold knockoff. If he's like max defense bold, does like 44 to 50 percent, 43 to 52 percent. That's just crazy damage. So I will definitely take that. Yeah, uh, I meant to lead Pangora, so this was a perfect lead for me. Definitely wasn't trying to lead a uh, Darm. Um, okay, 199 minus. 81 damage with that U-turn. So he's attack invested. Um, is he admin attack invested? It could be. It's hard to tell. So Jolly or admin scissor. Um, Intimidate's not going to work here because I'm scrappy. Um, Let's see. Oh, I like that damage. 65%. Um, yeah, it's like no bulk, Landris. Um, earthquake is free. U-turn is free. Um, earthquake um, kills me. So I think I go into top of Finny, honestly. Because uh, Earthquake, there's really no reason to not click Earthquake here. I do know it's not Scarf, my Latios would outspeed, so I'm fine with this exchange for now. Um, let's see if he goes for U-Turn. Still know if he's adamant or, or I just know he's like no, no HP investment. Earthquake, okay. 177 down to 111. So 66 damage. Um, so Jolly, Landorus, or just not Adamant. Um, U-turn is pretty free here. Um, I think I go for a knockoff on the Tentacruel switching. Let's see what comes out. Tinkerbell, Celebi, sure. Um... 30%? Okay, leftovers. So, 
that's hard to, that roll is honestly annoying because it could be max HP or max speed. So prob but probably a low roll max um, HP. Um, U-turn could come out here. Um, Ladio seems kind of nice. Mm. Yeah, it's either Giga Drain or U-turn. Um, yeah, we'll go into the uh, Landorus. This doesn't do, or uh, the Pangoro. You can go for U-turn. Giga Drain I should take two. Earth Power I should take two. Stealth Rocks? Okay. I don't kill with knockoff here. Um, I kill with ice or a gunk sh or a decent chance to kill with gunk shot though. So let's go for that. Could be dazzling gleam. I'm pretty sure. Um, Celebi gets it. Dazzling gleam. If it's not special attack invested, I don't think it kill. It's a it's a roll to kill. I don't know. I guess Dazzling Gleam is not bad for uh, Latios as well. Okay. U-turn. That does a lot of damage. Um, 118 minus 82 is 36 damage. So let's see based on that U-turn. Um, might not be minus attack nature. Give me the poison. That'd be great. Oh, I get the poison. Great. Oh, and I just kill. Okay. Well, that's definitely lucky, but I will 100% I will take that exchange. I got a little unlucky last week. Uh, not terribly unlucky, but a little bit. So I'll take a little bit to my advantage for sure because I had to land it and I also got the poison. That's a 16% chance to happen. But there's a crit chance, so like 17, 18% chance I would have killed there. So definitely take it and rolls, but that, that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, Landers is down. What does that mean in terms of my game plan? Um, Aegis Slash looks really nice. Again, Shadow Ball just claims a kill. U-turn um, kills me. Um, I still kind of save this. Um, I'm pretty sure I still save this. It, uh, this is probably a throw. I probably should have attacked. If it's sword stands, this is pretty problematic. Um, let's see. Okay, U turn. That's fine. 111 down to 87. Because I don't have a whole lot for SD Scizor. Or, I mean, I have some things, but especially because rocks are up, so I do have to watch out for that. Um, I said it was 24 damage, so. Can't really tell based on that damage. That could be a max roll jolly or. Adamant. It's probably Adamant with a lot of Adamant. Uh, I guess I still save this for Scizor and to an extent Gyarados. U-turn um, could definitely come out here. Um, I think I'm fine to go into my my Latios here. He's gotta be scared of uh, mystical fire. U turn, okay. No, oh, yeah, I forgot. He has a decent amount of attack. Seventy-two damage with Celebi. Um. 
He's gotta be Akaberry, right? Um, but he'll probably scout that by going into Tenacruel. So I think my response is to go into um, Pangoro. Catching the Tenacruel. Let's see. He could just go for Bullet Punch. That might that might have killed me from that range, actually. He goes for U-Turn. Okay. Scar Scissor. Yeah, I think that has to be Scar Scissor. Okay. That's good info to know. If I can get a uh, a para with stun fix, that'd be great. Yeah, there's no way it's not Scar Scissor in that role. I mean, I guess Mis it could be really bulky with Mystical Fire. But I think it's Scar Scissor based on the way he's playing it. That could definitely be problematic, but um, I do like Aegis Slash still in this. Celebi is out. Um, go to my dorm and figure out uh, what my play is here. Because I kill a U-Turner High School Crash. Um, Tanacruel, level 50, max max. Um, High school crash is fine to get damage on this. U-turn gives me the momentum I can get in my uh, Latios. Mm, so I think we just go for U-turn here. I really want to go for Earthquake on the Tentacruel, but uh, Gyarados could also definitely be a play. Okay, it could also be Air Balloon. Probably Rocky Helmet though. 20%, not Rocky Helmet. Um, yeah, that's Max D. Or about max D. I don't think it's exactly max max bold. Could be. And then get in this mod. And I definitely want to uh, recover here. It gives maybe Scizor a free switch in, but um, I'm okay with that. I have to keep, I'm pretty sure I have to keep this healthy. Is he gonna go into Scizor here? Um, Tinkerbell, okay. Actually, I know this is an attack invested, or not a neutral attack. Draco, 70%. I have like a 50-50 shot to kill here. Um, so I'm gonna go for it. If it's max HP, I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully it's not like special defensive with attack investment. Okay, so a little bit bulky on that side. All right, you turn. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Definitely keeping it close, but um, Celebi is about dead. Um, it was either like a low roll or he has some spadef investment. Um, bulky Celebi. Special defensive could make sense for sure. Um, yeah, I still don't think my Finny can can clutch it out. Um, I just gotta figure out how to get damage on that uh, scissor. I knew that was gonna be a problem. But if it's Scarf, then it's fine. Um, yeah, this mod's also a problem. Um, especially if it's Scarfed. Um, yeah, we'll bring it, bring in our flapjacks. Figure out this is Specs or not. Fifty flame charge shadow ball. Okay. 
203 down to 104. Don't give me a special defense drop. 99 damage. Okay. Um, specs. Yeah, that was like a max roll specs. Um, could also be modest, I guess, but specs, uh, specs plus cephalon. Um, I go for scald here to catch the Celebi. I think I should kill it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I definitely don't kill it. That sucks. Unless I get a burn. Oh, I do kill. Okay. So Celebi is down. I do a sucker punch on the, uh, the stun fist, so it's at least something. Let's see. Um... So I take 13 damage from rocks. I think if he's timid, I don't think I'm going to be able to live to. Like, I don't think because he got a higher roll there, I don't think I'm going to be living with uh, another Shadow Ball from the uh, from the Placephalon. There's just something to note. Yeah, rocks were a nice play there, but I had to uh, catch that, that Celebi. Oh, he brings this out. Um, Fire Blast, I guess, kills? Um, I go for a Sucker Punch here to get some damage on it. Thrower, I'm pretty sure that kills. Okay, that kills. Um, Stunfisk is dead. Shadow Sneak kills. Hmm. I think I go into Latios, so. Um, he's plus one specs. I don't think I, I can't like consistently recover on this yet. It's a losing battle. Um, Psychic kills. Um, Draco Meter does more damage to like a Scizor switch in, but I want to make sure I actually hit. Doesn't have a great switch into this mod. Um, if he does go into Scizor, I can figure out how much damage I'm doing. Maybe to the point where Shadow Ball would kill. Let's see, Psychic. 32%, I get a special defense drop. Um, looks like it's max HP, okay. Max HP Scizor. Um, I go into Finny because if he scarf knockoff, I can't risk that. And I'm still not 100% sure if he's a. Uh, what type of item he is. If he goes for knockoff, that'd be great. Or on top of Finny to Scizor. Bruce would be annoying. SD is annoying too. If I think I lose, if he's SD. U turn? Okay. 21 damage. I can see. Still don't know if he's admin or jolly based off that roll. It's not going to be doing a whole lot anyway. Does my darn kill 
Hypocephalon. I believe this mod gets Power Whip. Um, on top of Finny to Gyarados. If he's like max HP, Moonblast is not doing a lot. Um, and if he Dragon Dances, that's gonna start being annoying. Mm. Do I have a play? If he's like max HP, that's gonna be pretty problematic. Um, either that or I go into Gyarados here predicting that. I think I just go for Moonblast though. This would have been where uh, it would have been pretty handy to have uh, Nature's Madness on this. Um, but I can gauge the damage and hopefully my uh, Aegis Slash kills with a Shadow Sneak. So I was doing like 30% there. Um, 35%, okay. So he's like not a whole lot of bulk. Does my Aegis Slash kill with Shadow Sneak? Um, probably not. Mm. I think I still go for a Moonblast though. Okay, just go for Power Up. Dorm kills with Ice Cold Crash, so I'm fine with this. I mean, unless I miss. Uh, so top of Finny is dead. I'm going for Icicle Crash here. Does he switch out? Maybe he gets a crunch on something? Um, Tenacrawl hasn't taken any damage. Um, Earthquake would be a cool play here. I can also go for flinches, though. He's at like 85%. Bring him to 50. Um, I think I go for Ice Cold Crash again here. Um, try to get a flinch. I should to a KO if I hit. And I think I have to try to kill this off or flinch it down. Okay, knock off. 52, I should live a... Uh, I should live a hit here, or uh, I do live rocks. Go for Earthquake to kill this uh, Tentacruel. What is happening? Oh. Didn't he knock off my Choice Scarf? Did I miss that? I thought he just went for knockoff. That's weird, isn't it? I thought it, I thought he went, regardless, the uh, Tentacruel is dead. If I can get a hit on the Gyarados, I think I could win with Aegislash. I don't know if I have enough switch-ins, but that's like all I gotta hope for at this point. Scizor comes out. Um... Weird play. I'm, I have to make the aggressive play and go into uh, into my Aegis Slash here. It's max HP, or like a lot of HP. Bullet Punch, okay. 
130 down to 108. That's 22 damage. Um, Dolnova Diamond or Jolly. I get a kill with Shadow Ball here. I'm just about certain. Oh, I outspeed this. This is nice. I think. Okay, and I kill. Awesome. I put a decent amount of speed in this Aegis Slash. So I was concerned when my Pangora didn't outspeed, but <laughs> I'm very happy that Aegis Slash did. Um, so Scizor is down. I go sack the Darm and hope it's not Flame Charge or I lose. Actually, I might not lose because uh, Shadow Sneak is a thing. Shadow Ball kills. Aegis Slash doesn't kill with Shadow Sneak from the train. I needed it a little bit weaker, I think. No, I should be fine. Um, I mean, I go into this and Psychic. And I win the game. I don't see how I lose. Yeah, I Psychic and then Psychic into Shadow Sneak on the Gyarados because I wouldn't risk missing. And this will kill. Um, Would have been nice to get more differential, but I can't really... Ask for much there. Draco would kill. Psychic might have a decent chance to kill. Um, yeah, Draco kills. Psychic has a low chance to kill, but I choke if I miss with Draco Meteor. So I think I just have to go for a win and get a 1 0. Okay, yeah, I don't kill. Play to go for the Dragon Dance. Yeah. Um, Do I live a hit? Plus one. Adamant. Waterfall. I mean, there's no reason for me to risk a crit. Um, if it's rest, yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay. All right, I'll take this win. 1-0. Um, definitely got lucky with the Pangoro getting that poison on it. Um, but I will... Uh, Take this win with uh, with Specs, Shadow Sneak, uh, Aegis Slash. It doesn't have a whole lot of coverage. It honestly, like Shadow Ball plus Flash Cannon on Specs sets is usually pretty good. And then like Close Combat, uh, Steel Beam, Shadow Sneak are all options there. So yeah, I 100% needed that win. Definitely a close game by Kurt. Brought a couple mods that I didn't really see coming. Um, Audios, I feel like was able to put work for the honestly like the first time this season. I felt like I was able to do a decent amount of damage, but yeah, um, I mean this win doesn't help. It helps to get in the playoffs. It just basically means I have to win week six. Uh, if I was able to win this game with a lot of differential, and then uh, lost week ten, I might have had a chance to make playoffs. But I think I just have to win week ten. But it's a chance. So I'm five and four. I think zero differential. So. Uh, we'll see. It's another 1-0 loss by Kurt, which is unfortunate, but good game, man. Uh, definitely if you've had a better season than the record indicates, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, win week 10 and make playoffs, but until next time, later, guys.